amazing recipe, easy to follow, and I'm sure you're going to love it. And if you like my video, don't forget to subscribe and give me a like, and let's get started. Okay guys, today we are making butternut squash soup, okay? So we need, come over here, I'm going to show what we need. We need two medium-sized butternut squash, two uh, sweet potatoes, fresh thyme, a little bit of jalapeno or chili um, pepper. So it's totally optional. I like a little bit spicy on the spicy side, my butternut squash soup. So I'm going to use half. And three apples, okay? So vegetable bouillons or beef bouillons, totally up to you what you're going to use. Optional and the one onion, red sweet onion. Now spices, we're going to use a little bit of cinnamon, nutmeg and cloves, okay? So a little bit of those spices and basically that's all. And let's get started guys, so let's start. So what I did, I peeled it off. So two butternut squash, okay? Three apples, um, onion and um, two sweet potatoes, okay? So let's start. So what we are going to do, we are going to roast it. I'm going to cut them, come here, and have a look what I'm going to do. So this is our butternut squash. So you peel it off, you get rid of the seeds, okay? And now we're just going to cut them. It's very hard to cut, but... So, just like pieces, like those chunks, okay? And we're going to put them on the tray, because we're going to roast them for 20 minutes, 25 minutes, 375 degrees okay we will drizzle a little bit of olive oil on the top and uh, then i'm going to show what we are going to do so just chunks like that okay so this is your butternut squash and this is and that's what we are going to put with all of them and this is your red sweet red potato and sweet potato so we are going to do the same with the potato we will put and um so and this is your apples apples we're going to put later i will show you when and so this is onion as well we are going to cut the onion okay guys so what we're doing now so that's a lot sometimes i do on both trays but so just drizzle a little bit of olive oil like this no salt nothing so just like that, okay? So it goes to the oven, 375 degrees, 20, 25 minutes. And for the meantime, I'm going to show what we're going to okay, do. Okay guys, so the squash is in the oven. Now we took our um, onion. So we're going to cut the onion, okay? And then we will go to the stove and I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Okay. So. And let's just like we cut like this. Okay, great. Now, so that's what we're doing with the onion and I want to show you with the apples. So this is our apples. We are going to cut them, but we are not going to put on um, yet. We will just prepare them. That's what we are going to do with our apples. We will just cut them like a piece of them. Like this. So the apples will go to the soup later. But guys, now I'm going to cut a little bit of jalapeno, but as I said, it's totally optional. You don't like it, you don't want your soup to be on the spicy side, there is no need to, you don't have to. Okay, I like it, and I'm not even going to peel off the seeds, which is going to be spicy a little bit, but that's how I like it. So. We have the stove, so this is olive oil. I'm going to put like approximately four tablespoons. Okay, come here, I'm going to show you. So remember, our squash is in the oven, roasting, okay? So approximately four tablespoons of olive oil, okay? So what we're doing here, it's um, on the medium high, just medium high, yeah. So that's where we're going to put the flame. Um, now, this is our onion. I use like a big onion, so this soup is absolutely delicious, so I'm going to make a lot. 
because we love it and then I freeze it also in case so, so this is um, uh, our jalapeno I'm going to put here you can use red chili pepper or you don't have to use if you don't want spicy and this is your onion okay so that's great so that's what we are going to do let me just get this so we are going to do now what we're doing just brown we need to brown our onion and jalapeno i'm going to add a little bit more so it's four tablespoons okay so okay so just for a few minutes i will see you in a few minutes come over here to the stove i'm going to show you so i pulled it out see it was roasted it's a lot as i said i'm making lots of soup but i want to tell you guys uh, that's a lot. So what you do, cut the recipe in half. If you you don't need to feed so many people, right? So because I freeze, as I said. So cut the recipe in half, and it would be perfect for you. Always I leave the written recipe in the description box under the video. Okay? So come over here. So this is our onion, as I said before. You remember? Brown a little bit for a few minutes. See, it's beautiful. Uh, our jalapeno with onion gorgeous so i'm going to reduce the heat a little bit so this is our roasted um, squash so what i'm going to do now so this is um this is a uh, nutmeg okay guys i'm going to put let me lower the heat a little bit okay so nutmeg i'm going to put one fourth of teaspoon okay just a little bit like this come guys i want to show you just like a little bit like that, okay? Like not much. And close. Okay? Like this. Close. So just a little bit, like very little, not much. And mix it, okay? And what we're we going to put, this is thyme, guys. Just fresh thyme. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just put like, you know, like this. Like that. Okay, just fresh thyme, just a little bit. As I said, you don't need to put a lot like that. Okay, so great. Now we need one on that amount of squash, we need one liter of water. So, one liter of water, and so it's four cups, four cups of water. or you use chicken broth vegetable broth but what I'm going to use I'm going to put the cubes okay I'm going to put four cubes four cubes so whether you're going to use um, four bouillons whether you're going to use vegetables or uh, a vegetable or beef or chicken either one is good so you do like this you can put more thyme like this so you know fresh one you could put more whatever you like and so now it's time oh i'm going to put my apples i'm going to put my apples you remember three apples we used okay so that's good and i'm going to slowly introduce our squash it's going to be hard maybe i would need even bigger pot but we're going to see so all together all right. Hey guys, so we'll see you in a sec. In a second. Hey guys, so look what I'm doing. So I put all the squash with apples and um, thyme. Okay. So we put um, all our spices. The only one spice I forgot to put, I'm going to put now. It's um, cinnamon. Okay. Okay, guys, a little bit of cinnamon, just as I said, just like that. Okay. So it's like one quarter of the uh, teaspoon one fourth of teaspoon just a little bit cinnamon okay? so that's important okay that's good and so we're I'm, I'm mixing like this okay and uh, what I'm going to do I'm going just to put um, cover for five to ten minutes and then we will check okay on the medium low so now 10 to 15 minutes gone and look how beautiful it is so it's nice and soft and now it's time to blend it 
I just want to mention something. You try, and um, if you don't think it's perfect, it's salty, but remember we didn't put any salt. So if you, in case you feel like you need a little bit more saltiness, add extra bouillon, okay? So whether it's vegetable or a chicken or beef, whatever you like. And so now it's time to blend, okay? Okay guys, now it's time to blend. Wow, the smell. I wish you would be here guys, it's so delicious. And now I came to try our butternut squash soup. Come and have a close look what we got. This is our amazing butternut squash soup. Look, it's beautiful. And I'm going to try. Let's see. And let me see, let me try. Mm. It's delicious. I feel those spices, like a little bit of nutmeg, cloves, and uh, cinnamon, and a little bit of our jalapeno, what we put. It's a nice kick. I really love it. It's, wow, it's really delicious. And I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, make the soup for your family. And it's time to say goodbye. And I want to say I'm going to see you next time on my cooking show. And if you like my video, don't forget to subscribe and give me a like. Bye-bye.